हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज स्ट्रेस ट्रेन डायग्राम वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट स्ट्रेस ट्रेन डायग्राम जनरली द मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मटेरियल कैन बी डिटरमाइंड बाय परफॉर्मिंग टेस्ट ऑन स्मॉल स्पेसमैन ऑफ द मटेरियल इन मटेरियल टेस्टिंग लेबोरेटरी द टेंसाइल टेस्ट व्हिच इज परफॉर्मड ऑन सिलिंड्रिकल स्पेसिमैन इज द मोस्ट कॉमन टेस्ट to find out the mechanical properties where the load can be measured by main dial of the machine and the elongation can be measured by extensometer in this test the cylindrical element is fit into the grip of the machine at both its end and uh, this ensure uh, that the failure will occur in central uniform region only so the stress can be easily calculated rather than Uh, its end where the stress distribution is not uniform the specimen is of ductile material the material of the specimen is the ductile material and when the load is increased gradually the load which we are applying that should be a tensile load or the pull so the load increased gradually in tensile testing machine it is found that the resultant stress is proportional to resultant strain up to certain limit beyond that the relation is not linear to find out or to investigate other mechanical properties of material beyond limit the relationship between the shear and, and the, the relationship between the stress and strain is usually represented by stress strain diagram or tensile test diagram so whatever the stress strain diagram uh, it represent the relationship between the stress and strain for different material so we'll discuss about finally stress strain diagram you can see a tensile test diagram for structural steel this is the stress strain diagram for the structural steel where the stress is plotted on vertical axis and the strain is plotted al along horizontal axis uh, this diagram is begin with the straight line oa you can see the line oa in which stress strain relationship is linear or the stress is directly proportional to strain so point a mark as the limit of proportionality beyond point a the curve becomes slightly curved up to point b you can see the uh, curve or uh, from point a to b from point a to b it is slightly curved so in that condition the elastic limit of material has been reached the region ab is not linear so here stress is not proportional to strain and the elongation increases more rapidly up to point b the removal of load will result in complete recovery of specimen of its original dimension if the load increases if we increase the load further after point b the yielding always take place point c you can see the point c is the point of sudden large extension a point where the sudden large extension happen is known as the yield point this is the yield point and after yield point the stress is reached the extension takes place and the strain is increasing at an accelerating rate as represented by c to d during the tile extension generally the area of cross section of the specimen decreases in same proportion the uh, the length always increases and hence this is the reason of perfect plasticity or what this is the reason of perfect plasticity or yielding in this region there is no increase in tensile force it means the material become perfectly plastic in this region or uh, we can say it can deform without increase in applied load in the condition of perfect plasticity if the load is further increased the steel begin to strain harden and the material undergoes change in atomic and crystalline structure in strain hardening region 
after point D, you can see the point D, after point D with further increase in load and extension, point E of maximum load or ultimate stress is reached. If we increase load further after D, uh, the condition of maximum load or the point of maximum load or ultimate stress is reached at point E. When the load increase continuously up to maximum load, the bar extends uniformly but if the straining is continued, reduction in the cross-section area occur. And as the load is concentrated on the reduced area, a considerable concentrated plastic deformation is take place generally till the rupture take place at point F. It is customary to base all the stress calculation on the original cross-section area of the specimen and since later it is not constant, so stress is calculated. Uh, the stress which we can calculate is known as the nominal stress. This kind of stress is known as the nominal stress. Nominal stresses are less at rupture load than maximum load that is indicated in point F and E. The nominal stress is always uh, less at rupture load and uh, you can see a dotted line here the diagram of real stresses is shown by dotted curve you can see a dotted line here in this diagram so we can say the diagram of real stresses is always shown by a dotted curve actual stress intensity is always greater than at the maximum load so this was the stress strain diagram for the structural steel. For different material or the different properties of material, we can find out different stress strain diagram. Thank you.